every single design has a shape in it or maybe they have manipulated the shape to form a particular shape or you have seen a particular design and you saw a particular shape in it and you were wondering how was this shape came about or how did a person create that shape in this video i'm about to show you how you can draw shapes add stroke to them color them and also show you some crazy stuff you can do with them so let's get started if you are new here consider subscribing to this channel over here i make videos about photoshop graphic design and the other abilities series where you can benefit from them like this video comment down below and let me know your thoughts let's get into it before we begin i will encourage you to watch this video more than once get the understanding that you need because maybe watching it once there are some things that you may skip or there are some things that you may not see it very well so when you are watching it again you will fill in that gaps to draw shapes in photoshop come to this right click on it and you can see rectangle to ellipse to triangle to polygon to line to custom shape we are going to talk about these things one after the other for you to get the understanding first let's talk about the rectangle too so to draw a rectangle you choose it first and then you left click and you drag and as you can see i have drawn a rectangle someone may ask that since this is a rectangle too and we have used it to draw our rectangle where is the square tool for us to use it for our square shapes well we use this same tool to draw square and so for you to draw a square first of all let's delete this one and then we are now coming to draw a square make sure that the same rectangle tool is selected and then you come to your canvas and you press on shift on the keyboard and you left click as you can see you have gotten a perfect shape to add coloring and stroke you either use this tab or you come to the properties tab to use the appearance tab i always recommend using the appearance tab because it contains a lot of tools that this place do not provide so let's first use the coloring the coloring here we have fill so the fill is the main color inside so when you click on it like this we have no color that is you don't want to color it you just need the part that is drawn and let's say you want to choose one particular color or let's say a gradient that is two or more colors you mix them together and then a pattern either grass pattern water pattern you come down here to we have stroke coloring the stroke to works the same as the fill you use the same thing you either use one color let's increase the strokes more you either use one color no stroke gradient or pattern okay over here too is how you control the size of the stroke so you can bring out the toggle this thing and just change the size of the stroke using this one or you can just type in the number of stroke you want so let's say 20 okay and then right here too we have the kinds of strokes that we have we have the line stroke the dashes stroke and the dotted stroke so when you click on it like this as you can see then it changes changes to your preference so let's use the dashes let me show you something here let's see, decrease this one to like 10 enter as you can see it's creating something nice yeah, maybe you, you may like this on your designs okay then let's come to the most important aspect in drawing shapes using rectangle tool over here we have 0 px 0 px 0 px 0 px these are the corners the corners of it so let's deactivate our stroke and let's show you very well and let's give it some one color and one strong color okay black is nice because you're having the contrast in there okay so these are the corners so when you change one of these ones let's say 50 as you can see we are having that curve corners if you want to change one particular curve mm -hmm. you just click on this icon click on it and it has been released so now you can change the care for one particular corner as you can see i changed it for the first one and only the first one works and you can also manipulate it around so let's say here 300 like this okay so let's send them all to zero let me show you another thing zero, zero. okay so let's see you want to edit a particular corner to your preference that one you choose let's say first one make it 50 enter and then the second one you make it you see, the same 50 enter so over here you see this particular kind of shape one place is pointed and the other place is curved and making it some kind of nice yeah so to add up 
when you come to the fill or the stroke that is when you're about to choose your color these colors here are not the only colors you can choose that is the colors are not limited to these colors you can choose any color that you want using this toggle like this chart this color chart to choose any color that you want or you can also input your color code here and you just get your uh, color that you want so let's say zero 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 ff blue so you get it like this and you press on okay and then as you can see it has been filtered so that's how it, it works same as the gradient when you enter here you can choose any color double click on it like this then come here like this and then you choose any color that you want one side and the other side to any color that you want black like this and then that's it for the rectangle too okay so now let's move on to how you can draw a circle to draw a circle you come to the same place and you right click and you right click you see the various options you choose ellipse tool for that after choosing you come to your canvas you left click and hold and you draw the shape that you want as you can see we have drawn an oval shape if you want to draw a perfect circle let's delete this one first okay so if you want to draw a perfect circle after the ellipse tool is selected you press on shift and then you click and drag then your circle is drawn the same thing applies for the circle when it comes to the coloring you come to your fill here add your colors the pattern gradient or any other color that you want and the stroke to the same thing the size to you set the size that you want when you change it here it changes on your design and then the kind of stroke that you want whether a line dashes or a dotted one that one too you can do it over here okay so that's it for the circle so let's talk about drawing a triangle the same thing you come here you right click and you choose triangle to then you draw your triangle when you want to draw a, a, a perfect triangle let's delete this one you press on shift on the keyboard draw a perfect triangle okay then the coloring to the same thing choose your coloring from here and the strokes and the other things the same as we did in the previous tutorial to also change the curves over here you see this curve line this indicates the curve vertices so to change the vertices to curve just manipulate it here maybe 50 as you can see you have that curve vertices over there i forgot to tell you this when you want to change the corners by not changing it from the properties out you see this eye icon here click on it and bring it inside or outside to your preference how curved you want your shapes to be yeah so that's it for the triangle as well okay so now let's learn how to draw polygons that one to you right click here and you choose polygon two and then you draw your polygon i want perfect polygon so i'll press on shift and then i'll draw okay so there are some things over here that you have to take note of the number of size that you want there polygon to be so let's say this one is six so let's increase it to like 10 and change it over here and then you are good to go then the curve tool is here as well okay so this place is where you can change your polygon to star so let's bring this one back to five and then let's bring the curve to zero and the hundred percent instead of hundred let's reduce it to like 50 okay 50%. So now we have a star, and then clicking on this three dots, you can smoothen your indent. That is, when you click on it like this, as you can see, you have that kind of shape. Basically, the coloring and the strokes and the size of strokes and the type of stroke line they are all the same as the triangle and the rectangle. That's it for the polygons. Okay, so we move on to the next two, which is the line two. So that one, to you right click, and then you select line two. That one is very very simple. You just click and drag, and you draw the line click and drag and you draw the line that's how it works and then if you want to draw a very straight horizontal line very straight horizontal line that one to you press on shift and you draw you get a very straight horizontal line because if you release it and you draw it you see that it will not give you your required horizontal direction that you want it will be diagonal or some little bit of tilting in it that one too when you come here you will see that you can increase the size of the line to your preference and the colors and the others too are the same as the previous two that we talked about that's it for the line two. Finally, we will treat the 
custom shape to that one to you right click and then you come all the way to custom shape tool and then you select the exact tool that you want to draw when you come here we have wild animals leaves trees boats it's a folder so when you open it there are a lot of custom shapes in there so let's select this tree and then you come to your canvas and you left click and you drag so as you can see it is being stretched so if you want to make it perfect press shift on the keyboard and then you draw so you now have our perfect tree okay so that one too as you can see the same property that it has the coloring the strokes and the others so if you don't understand anything about the strokes very well just watch the video again and you are going to get it and that's it for the custom shapes as well yeah so that's it for this video and this video is the first part of the entire course on shapes in photoshop so my next video will be the last part of shape if you want to learn more about photoshop and graphic design in general click the video on the screen until next time guys quench not your creativity shalom